Welcome back to Omega Language Academy and this is your German A1 course. Today we're going to discuss session 8 and it is about conversation using question words. Now remember if you want or if you need any help you are free to contact us using this email id info at the red omega topos academy dot com or using the mobile number 63643435 okay getting back to the topic remember we have discussed these words or these question words earlier frage wie this is just a revision if you don't know uh, or if you want to practice these words please go back to the previous session that is session 7 just for revision let's go for it what is called was how is called we where is called wo where from is called where which is called welche and who is called where so in this session what we're going to do is we're going to have some sentences and questions using these question words right let's begin then this is a conversation so you know understand through that perspective that how people talk using question words so the first one is kate says hello we heisen sie in these sessions i always provide the german part first only german and then i provide the translation or the help you need okay let's begin then hello we heisen sie ich heise sam we heisen sie if you don't know the meaning don't worry just listen to the words okay Hallo, wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Sam. Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Kate. Woher kommen Sie? Ich komme aus Indien. Und Sie? Ich komme aus Deutschland. Wo wohnen Sie? Ich wohne in Hyderabad. Und Sie? Ich auch. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Ich spreche Englisch und Deutsch. Und Sie? Ich spreche Telugu, Englisch. Ich spreche Telugu, Englisch und Deutsch. Auf Wiedersehen, Sam. Auf Wiedersehen. Now, this is a full conversation which might, you know, a little bit difficult to understand initially or might find, you might find it daunting, but don't worry about that. We will go through each sentence, in fact, each word to uh, get through it, you know. We'll understand them. Now, if you look at this, we'll go for the translation and understanding. The first one is, hello, we heisen Z. Right. Hello, what is your name? Now, heisen means to call and Z is you, formal you. And we, remember the question word, how. So, we heisen Z is how are you called? Right. So, that's a different way to say, what is your name? We heisen Z equal to what is your name? Next one we have is, or next way to say is, how are you called? This is literal translation. Don't listen to that. Next one is, ich heise Sam. This is the answer for that. What is your name? My name is Sam. So, ich heise Sam is, I am called Sam. This is literal translation. Remember, now the second word was, we heisen Sie. Because the person also asked question. How are you called? So, Sam said, I, ich heise Sam. We heisen Sie. He also asks question, right? My name is Sam. What is your name? So previous one was the literal translation. This is the real meaning. Let me revise it again. This was the literal translation and this is the meaning of it. Is Heiser Sam is what is your name? Or I'm um, sorry. Is Heiser Sam is my name is this. And we Heisen Z is what is your name? So next time when you want to ask someone what is your name to anyone in German, you say we heisen C. Okay? And if you want to answer to this question is Ich heise, whatever your name is. My name is Sam. Let's say Ich heise Sam. Cool? Great. Next one is Kate says Ich heise Kate. I think it's apparently clear like we say Ich heise Sam. Ich heise Kate. I am called Kate. Or now next question comes up. Woher kommen Sie? Where kommen Sie means where do you come from? Because where we have seen already in question words means where from. Wo is where and where becomes where from. Common means to come. And Z is you. So uh, is, uh, where common Z becomes where do you come from? Or where are you from? 
if you want to you know understand english perspective both are the same thing right moving to the next one is come aus indien und sie so sam says i come from india and you this is the same thing i come from india and you ich komme aus indien und sie ich becomes i come from is aus india in german is called indien und sie is and you see sometimes this you will keep changing the reason for the change are other cases we'll understand them later for now please try to understand that we're using this question words to understand here okay next one is ich komme aus deutschland kate says i come from germany ich komme aus deutschland deutschland is the german name uh, for germany um, i'm from germany or come from germany is the same thing so if you let's say you come from turkey um, you say ich komme aus the turkey so why we add um, the or there in some countries there's a mystery but germans do add uh, articles to some countries some countries they don't in india there there's no article german there's no article so we didn't add any that is like we don't add the in many countries in english like that right okay wo wohnen sie get also asked that in the conversation where do you stay so stay or live is the same thing where do you stay or where do you live is wo wohnen sie right is wohne in hyderabad sam says i live in hyderabad so like you say the translation is wohne wohne becomes live i think you know this word already we have discussed it many time is wohne in hyderabad i live in hyderabad right and also ask un sie now you understand un means and and sie means you and you So Kate replies to that, me too, or I as well. So ich is I, auch is too. So whenever you want to use word also or too, auch is the word for that. Kate says ich auch, that is me too. Great. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Now this is something a little bit um, new for you. Let me make you understand. Sprachen means languages. Sprachen is the plural of Sprache. Sprache is single language. Sprachen means many languages. Sprechen becomes to speak. There's a similarity between these It's because there's a a. If you change this to a to e, it becomes to speak. And if it is just a, it's a language. Well, sir, Sprachen sprechen Sie means which languages do you speak? Like you can see here. Now, if you want to ask someone in German which languages do you speak, you know what to say. Welche Sprachen sprechen Sie? Right, good. Ich spreche Englisch und Deutsch. Und Sie? This is to speak. Remember, so ich spreche becomes I speak. English in German is called English. And German in German, we have seen in session one, is called Deutsch. I speak English and German. And you? Ich spreche Englisch und Deutsch. Und Sie? I hope it is clear now, right? I speak German and English and you great. Like I said here the translation I speak English and German and you. Sam says ich spreche Telugu, English und Deutsch. So you have to reply with your answer because they ask und sie and you. So I speak Telugu, English and German. Well, it's not correct technically because I don't speak this language just for a conversation I created this. Ich spreche Telugu, English und Deutsch. Okay? So translation would be I speak Telugu, English and German, right? English and German. Right? Kate says, "Auf Wiedersehen, Sam." So Kate replies to that, the conversation is over. "Auf Wiedersehen" means goodbye. So "wieder" means again and "sehen" means to see and "auf" is off. So off see you again means actually goodbye or bye bye right so germans love to combine many words to form words so here in this case we have wieder sehen that means bye bye okay that i can see bye sam that is formal way so sam replies to the same thing auf wiedersehen that is also by formal and this was your session 8 don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe the channel as well And if you need to contact us remember we have mentioned the email ID and the phone number in the beginning also in the description section 
you can connect using that with us okay thank you for listening and i hope you understood something new have a nice time